So yesterday we were discussing on um, how to scroll the pages. And uh, how to take the screenshot, right? So we are ready. First part, just take the screenshot of you no know, logo we have seen, right? Home logo we are taking. This is the element screenshot. Next, we can move. So if you want, you can scroll a little bit. I can scroll, scroll down. So if you want to scroll down using JavaScript executor. So JavaScript executor interface and uh, execute script method. First, you have to write a JavaScript executor interface. So JSX equal to driver. Mm, so you can you can see. So here, JavaScript executor arg dot open key dot So then, I assigned a driver variable to JSX variable. Now what will happen? Now this is the parent uh, interface variable, but this is the child interface variable. Now this is the bigger one, right? Parent means bigger one. So that's why both references are not same. So that is the reason it is throwing type mismatcher. How to solve this? You have to type cast it. Add cast to JavaScript executor. I'm converting the driver to JavaScript executor format. Now, so this is a properly uh, left-hand side variable data type is a JavaScript executor. So right hand side variable is a JavaScript export. So driver also we converted into JavaScript export. Now let's see this. JSX, we have to scroll down, right? JSX dot execute script. You have execute a sync script to execute script. So let's take execute script. Execute script. So first script you write. What is the script you want to scroll? So what is the script we need to scroll the pages? If you want to scroll the pages, I already told window dot scroll by and you can give so horizontal and uh, scroll vertical pixels and uh, this one you can leave it as a arguments as an optional argument leave it so that is the one how to scroll the scroll down there is a scroll down maybe after scrolling down you can take a screenshot if you want maybe i'll wait some time red dot sleep uh maybe you one second i'll wait then I'll call the capture screenshot method. So capture screenshot, I'm I'm giving a so entire screen it will take, right? That's why capture screenshot, screenshot name I'm giving. So I'll give logo uh, home page, home page, home page uh, scroll down. Okay. That's the name I have provided. And uh, then we'll navigate. So we'll navigate to next page. Then, so that, that's it. You know, we, we navigated to register page. Maybe you can take the screenshot here.
So I can just call it here. So register page, uh, scroll down. Register page, just I'll take a register page. It's not scroll down, register page. Now, you can scroll down. So you can scroll down and scroll up. Okay, both we can do. I'll scroll down. Scroll down the page. So same JSX dot this one you can take. Maybe I'll put a three three thousand five hundred pixels. Then you can take the screenshot. Uh, register page. Scroll down. Okay. So after this, maybe I can put one. Now I want to scroll up. Scroll up. Then you can just call this. Then you take a screenshot. So for scroll up, you just need to, what you need to do is just put a minus. Automatically it will scroll up that many pixels. Then this you can say scroll up. Okay, so that's it. So same code, execute script. Here you are giving a scroll by horizontal and vertical. Here horizontal, vertical you are giving a negative value. Then you can now scroll for a particular element. I want to scroll for this element. So how to scroll for element? JSX dot execute script. So you can write arguments of uh, zero dot scroll into view. So you just give row, then pass this element. That's it. So we can pass the element, which element you are scrolling. Basically scrolling for checkbox element. Any element, if you want to scroll, this is the procedure. So JSX dot execute script, arguments of zero dot scroll into view, true, agree checkbox. So, so that's how you can uh, scroll that element. If you want, you can take a screenshot now. So then you can capture the screenshot. So agree checkbox. Scroll, agree, check by scroll, or we can put just scroll. Okay, that's it. See, I, I'm covering both execute script method, scroll, and if, if you want, you can scroll up also. Suppose I want to scroll up. You can add here uh, scroll up also. So, You can put one more element. 
the element is uh, it will scroll down but uh, let's see uh, i'll give login page where this uh, login page uh, is uh, visible here it's not there okay anyhow we can um so let me write window dot scroll by zero comma zero so it will uh, it has to scroll we'll see So then we can uh, scroll based on the keys. First, let's see this. This is going to work out now. Okay. Then we can go ahead uh, with the keys, how to scroll with keys. Okay, scroll. Do and do this. Uh, Scroll up, scroll for element, check the checkbox, uncheck. It has to scroll up. I think scroll up didn't happen. Uh, that's why, okay, so it didn't happen. Scroll up. Uh, so we need to make changes here last this one this one didn't work this is the scroll down only right that's why it didn't work but should work um, 3000 maybe if you want to see now uh, you can see the screenshot folder so now here, right, just right click, refresh. Can you see here? You can see all the screenshots here with the date and timestamp. So that's the advantage. You can see home page logo, right? Okay, so you have to copy this, the location, and it will show there. The page you open, you open in the page. See, this is the logo. If you want anything, you can try it out. A gray checkbox. See, this is the one. Okay, so like this, you can. So basically, why we need a screenshots? If something goes wrong, you can watch. All the fields are there and any errors are there. Anything you can easily monitor that purpose. So that is the only helpful during your uh, triaging the defect, triaging the fail loops. That's why we need this uh, screenshots. Okay. Mm, like this, you can just try it out. But we are we are trying other one, right? Uh, right. So what is that? So we have to try sending out and then scroll using keys. Scroll using keys. So I'm going to scroll using key C now. So take a for loop and uh, 10 pixels I'll scroll down. So int i equal to one, 
i less than or equal to 10 i plus plus so driver dot find element by dot tag name so body tag dot send case case dot case dot down down key it will scroll down then you take a screenshot so it will just take the screenshot so what is this this one is uh, he is uh, scroll down He is a scroll down. Same you do scroll up. Scroll up. This is down. This is scroll up. So if you want to scroll up, just do call the up key. Scroll up key. That's it. So control A, Control Shift, Format. So a code will format. Just this is a waiting. I am just adding for the for our so observation purpose. Other than that, nothing. Okay. So if you want to delete all these things, you can delete. Other you can keep it because if you keep, what will happen? The timestamp is going to be different. Another value, another name, it will create. So, in order to avoid confusion, just you can delete all of them. Okay. Now, let's run this. Okay, now file roll up. Oh, so this is the keys, then scroll up. So that's it. And now you can see all the screenshots. Just a refresh, you can see the screenshots. See, uh, keys scroll down, keys scroll up. So both you got it. Yeah, so the timestamp is entirely different. That is the this um, scroll up and scroll down. How to do with the different ways? Mainly, people will use this one. Remember how to scroll for particular element. Then how to scroll with the execute script method. Then how to scroll up with the execute script method. So these are the things important. Any questions? So with this, uh, we have only a few things and uh, links related. So links related, broken links how to find, broken images how to find, we can uh, have one session. Then you can, uh, so end of the basics. So end of all the basics will be over. Now we are going to start a JNet framework tomorrow onwards. So today, we'll, let's finish that. Uh, so broken links and broken images. How can you find? What is mean by broken links? What is mean by broken images? Anybody knows? Broken links and broken images.
नो सर नो आइडिया नो आइडिया सर ओह सी हेयर ब्रोकन इमेजेस आर देर ब्रोकन लिंक्स आई थिंक दे हैव एंड गिवन या लिंक्स दे हैव एंड गिवन बट ब्रोकन इमेजेस मींस सी व्हाट कैन यू ऑब्जर्व द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस इमेज एंड दिस टू इमेजेस व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस ब्रोकन इमेज विच वन इज ए same broken links also broken links means the link which is not going to work out it will throw four not four page not found something like it means that a uh, link is not working such cases you will use the broken uh, links how to find broken links in the web page you can do that so let me show you that quickly i'll take from here um links we copy explain the code see we are using uh, this our blog only and uh, we are waiting for the so store page title uh the your story is the title so now first step is uh you have to fetch all the home page links suppose you we have this home page right home page you have so many links here so many links we you have but which one is working which one is not working how do you know that so that's what fetch all the links from web page so list web element link list equal to driver dot find elements by dot tag name a by dot tag name a by dot tag name a so for see this is the collection this is the collection c this is the line of code i have given during the locator style while explaining the tag name locator i have given this for web element link colon collection name link list string i am getting the url of the link link dot get attribute of href so then all the url will show store here then verify urls this is the main thing so you got the url each link url you need to verify whether the link is valid or not so how can you verify that this is the small reusable method so you for this method you need to pass the url link url basically and uh, there is a url class in java which is available in java.net package so import that url ul equal to new url so i'm passing this url here step 2 so open the connection so if you want to open the connection okay url you are you are referring the url but you have to open the connection with that url right so that's what i'm doing http url connection this is also a java class see java.net package http url connection and is c equal to http url connection ul dot open connection ul dot open connection it will open the connection and that's the 
HTTP URL connection reference. Then step three, connect to that URL. So I'm connecting to that URL to check whether the link is uh, working or not. So then get the status code of each link. Int response status code equal to hc dot get response code. Get response code. So string response message equal to hc dot get response message. Get response message. Get response code, get response message. So which will connect to the URL, that URL response code. If it is a 200, so that is working fine. So else if, if the status code is a 404, the link is broken. So this code is common for links and images. Only code will change on the top, but this code is common for links and images to find the broken links and broken images. This code is fixed. <clears throat> now, see here, I'm calling that method. So if the response status code is 404, the URL is broken. So print that response code, that response misses. Response messages and see here I'm passing for this method URL. You pass the URL. So it will check each URL and tell you whether uh, which URL is broken, which URL is broken. So then thread dot sleep, wait that and driver dot close. So if you know broken links are there and you won't get this 404, this message. But let's see, run this. It's a simple code, okay? You have to remember this code, how to find a broken links in the web page. Same how to find broken images in the. How can you fetch all the images from web page? I have given how to fetch all the links in the web page. And how can you fetch all the images from the web page? See this. Link, contact link is working fine. 200 status code, message is okay. Account link, 200 status code, okay. Register link, login link, wish list, cart, checkout, home, category, path, 20. All this 200, 200, 200, 200. See, all are giving 200 status code. That's why they are working. Every link is working fine. In the home page. So in the home page, every link is working fine. All these are links only. All these are links only. That's why, so it is giving a 200. So find, you know, same code you replicate in your uh, websites. Any website you can use. You don't need to change any code. Only URL you change. So URL you change, remaining code you don't need to change, only your uh, title. Otherwise, from here to here, fixed code. That's a fixed code, you don't need to touch also. So that's the how to find broken links in the web page. Same, you can uh, find broken images in the web page. Same, it, it's a, just a small change. What is a small change? First, you are going to take how to bring the images. So I'm taking this one. Then I'll click on, uh, so images link. So in the, this Heroku app website. 
So this URL I'll give. Uh, please go back and uh, so make a note of this. So make a note of this URL. So our broken images. Once it landed here, you have to click on broken images. Then you get all the images. How to get all the images? So this is the code. So you are waiting for the this one and see how to fetch all the images from web page. List web element image list equal to driver dot find elements by dot tag name IMG. By dot tag name IMG for web element. So IMG colon IMG image list. Then how can you get the image source using SRC attribute? See, get attribute method we are using here. Find elements method we are using. So th these are the methods you need to remember. Then verify URLs, this one. And uh, it will tell you, same, again, the code doesn't change. So just run this. The broken images, it will find out. You'll get a 404. You get a 404. See? So for one link, one image is working 200, okay. This image is broken. That's why 404404. This image is broken. That's why 404. And there might be one more that is working fine. If it is working, 200 status code. If it is not working, 404 status code. Okay? So that's all about basics. Any questions? Before closing. So with that, all basics are done. How to work with uh, links, how to work with images, how to work with uh, Boolean commands and the drop downs. We have seen uh, edit box, buttons, check boxes, radio button, how to work, I have shown you. And uh, now we, we need to understand JUnit framework. So let's uh, join back and we'll discuss the JUnit framework. Thank you.